Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this animated header using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. So as you can see, we have a couple of sections here and whenever I scroll down, we have this nice transition effect and it looks nice. So without further ago, let's step into Visual Studio Code and start coding this application from scratch. So back in Visual Studio Code, I have a blank project opened and the first thing we need to do now is we need to create our files. So I will quickly create one index.html file. I will create my style.css and I will create one JavaScript file which I will call app.js. Inside the index, let's create our boilerplate and for the title we can say how to change header style on scroll. Inside the body, let's create our header. So I will say header and inside the header, I'll place an H1, which will be saying logo just to serve like a dummy content. After the header, let's create our sections. So the first section will be section with the class of home. Inside the section, we can place an H2 tag saying home. And below this section, we can create another section called about. Inside this section, we can say H2 about. And another one called section class services with an H2 tag inside saying services. After we have done this, let's link our JavaScript file. So we can say script and we can say app.js. And after we have done this thing, we can link our style.css and start styling this application. So I have linked it and let's go into the CSS file. But first let's open this with live server. It takes a little, lot of time to load and now we see what we have created so far. Okay, so let's start styling this. Inside the style.css, we can do a basic reset. So we can say um, box sizing border box, padding zero, and we can say margin zero. For the body, we can say on family to be Arial, Helvetica, Sans Serif. And for the header, we can say header. We can give this header a width of 100 viewport width, height of 10 viewport height, background of black, color of white for the text, uh, we can, we have to make it fixed. So I can say position fixed, top zero, left zero. Let's make sure also that the text is in the center. So we can say display flags, align items, center. Okay, let's save and let's see this, how it looks. If I go back, we see the header. Okay, great. So now let's uh, also style our sections. So, but before that, let's make sure we style the H1. So for the H1, I just want to say padding left of 40 pixels. And if I do this, we see that the logo moved a little bit. And also we can make sure that the pointer is, the cursor is pointer. And if I save now, if I hover over the logo, the cursor is pointer. Okay, so now let's style the section. So for the section with the class of uh, home, we can say background color to be black, color to be white, and height of this section to be 90 viewport height. For the other ones, so about and services, 
we can say background color white color black height of 100 viewport height so i will copy this and i will place it here and now if i save and make this prettier we can go back to our file and we see the sections let's place the text in the center of the sections so what we need to do is we can say display flex align items center and justify content center let's make sure also the services has the same class so we can say display flex align item center and justify content center let's save now and go back to our browser and we see the sections but we don't see our home h2 title so let's copy this stuff here and paste it here and save and go back and we should see home and great now we have created all that we need and let's start writing our JavaScript. However, I realized now we have to think about what will happen when we scroll. Basically, when we scroll, we need to give that header a dynamic class. And I will do this now by going below the header and I will say class of change. And that class will be assigned to the header dynamically with JavaScript. So for this class of change, I will want to change the background color to white and the color to black. And that's pretty much that I want. Also, I want to give this header a transition of all 0.3 seconds. Now, if I save and go to the JavaScript file, we need to import our header. So I'll say const header equals document dot query selector. And that will be our header. And now we need to assign an event listener to the window object. So I can say window dot add event listener and that listener will be scroll and I will pass a function here as a second argument. And inside this function, now what we have to do is we need to have a check. So if we check if the window dot scroll y, which is the position when you scroll on the y axis is bigger than zero. And if that's the case, what we want is we want to change the class of this header. So we can say header that class list dot add, and we can add the change class, which we just created else. If that's not the case, we want to remove this class. So we can say header class list dot remove and we need to remove change. And now if I save this and go back to our application, now you see that when I scroll down, we see that the header style changes. But one thing I missed to do is we can make it look slightly better by giving this header a nice box shadow. So for here, I can say box shadow and let's make this zero, 20 pixels, 30 pixels, transparent RGBA color, which will be zero, 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 zero point three. Okay. Let's save now. Let's go back. And now you see that there is a tiny little bit of box shadow, which makes it better. And when I scroll up, 
it becomes black along with the section and when I scroll it becomes white. So this is what we have created guys, a nice little application which you can use in your own projects. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any content I put and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next videos.